Hi, Melissa here, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, I have a few products I would like to talk about. Uh, a couple of them, they were okay, and one of them I didn't like at all. So, let me jump into it and show you guys. The first product is going to be... I, I really... I did like it. I did, but the issue with it for me, it gave me a huge headache. After I put it on a couple minutes later... Um, my head was just aching and I started to feel dizzy. I just didn't like that feeling. So I was like, you know what? Let me keep it on for like 15 minutes. Let me just try that. <clears throat> Excuse me. No, it just got worse. It just was getting worse. And I was like, no, I got to take it off. So I'm kind of upset. I think I want to try it one more time and see because I really liked how it made my eyelashes. You could actually see them through my glasses. Because I can't wear, I don't know if I can wear it, um, fake eyelashes. Because they, the ones that I have, I think they're a little too long because they hit the lens on my glasses. And, you know, that really bugs me. <laughs> so, but I, I love the brush. Well, that's the extended to make them longer. I love how the brush cur or curves up like that. Because that gives me a lot of volume. On my eyelashes because some mascaras no they don't do the job but I'm gonna try this one one more time and see and I'll let you guys know in the next video how this worked if, if it worked the second time the next product I was eh, okay about it is the new Neutrogena shine control powder and it comes in this packaging and basically, it's a lightweight powder. Uh, absorbs it absorbs like a sponge. It has basically it's made it's made from rice. So you know how like rice absorbs moisture. So that is supposed to absorb moisture from your face. So it does it does work. It does its job perfect. The only issue is oh, in the packaging it's just plain black packaging, nothing fancy. The only issue with it is, it leaves my skin looking ashy. Mm, I don't like that. So, it makes it just look really ashy. And I I don't know. But I'm going to keep giving it a try. I do use one from um, MAC. I can't think of the name. It's just, it just takes, it's the exact same thing. And it just takes the oil away from my face. I am extreme, I have extremely oily skin. I'm not combination oily. I'm just oily like all or like really guys if like within an hour or two kid you not it looks like I just poured grease all over my face I've tr I tried matte primers um the primer that I just tried I know I'm getting off topic but I just want to show you I use the oil control lotion by MAC uh, my foundation I use is MAC I noticed that that doesn't that kind of helps um it doesn't break me out so but I don't know, I just, it's irritating when you're oily skin like that. And I know there's some of you guys out there like that. Sometimes I wish I had normal to dry skin, honestly. But back to topic. Okay, the next product I have, and eh, it's okay. It is by Maybelline, and it's the new contouring palette. I like it. It's just a contouring color. It's medium to deep. It's picking up on the camera really light, but it's a little bit darker. But honestly, it's just the same as my skin tone. And I knew that part, uh, the powder wouldn't work for my skin tone so much. But the blush works. And the highlighter, let me just say, the highlighter is awesome. I love the highlighter in here. And this, I picked this up at CVS. And I want to say it was either $10 to $12, I think. I had a coupon, so I wasn't really paying attention to the price after the coupon because it was like five dollars off it does come with this brush as you can see it's still in the package I don't use these things I'm gonna end up tossing it and that's what it looks like so it's a bit cute I like it I love the package it's really cute so why am I rambling let me just watch this this is what you guys want so I'm gonna swatch the highlighter the blush and the contour okay 
that's what it looks like. I love the contour. The contour just gives this really nice contour. I'm sorry. What am I talking about? The highlight gives a really nice effect on the cheek. I didn't apply a lot. I didn't have to apply a lot of the highlighter, which was good. The blush, I did have to build up a little bit, which was fine. It did work. It did show up on my skin tone. And as you can see, the contour color, it's the same skin, skin color as me, so... That was my only eh about it. But other than that, sorry, I'm trying to get a wipe so I can wipe my hands. Other than that, I did like the product. So it's really cool. They also have a, um, oh, uh, what was it? Oh, I totally forgot. Oh, a setting spray that I would like to try with them as well. I want to pick that up and see. Because I'm always trying to try different product. And I want to bring you guys what I like about the product and tell you guys the truth because trust me I'll tell the truth and I don't like to be negative um, you know on products I want to give them a chance but sometimes you guys know that products sometimes could be a pain in the butt but anyways the other product that I did purchase is by Maybelline as well and it's the black is black and it's the new Fossey push up drama mascara I have not tried this I'm gonna try it probably tomorrow or whatever um, so hopefully this does wonders. I love trying out new mascaras. I think that's my issue is a lot of mascara. Because every time I see something in the in the drugstore or whatever, I'm like, and it says new, I'm like, oh, I have to get it. I want to try it. My husband's like, really? Really? It's just mascara. You don't understand. You know? <laughs> so, yeah. That was what I picked up at CVS and Target. I picked up this one from Target. They found it at Target. Oh, and also I picked up these two. These are new. These are the Revlon uh, Ultra HD Matte Lipsticks. I picked up these two colors, and I'm wearing this color right now. It's okay. It's, it's starting to come off. Uh, it doesn't stay on like a long time because once you start drinking and eating you could tell that it's starting to come off uh it doesn't have the names anymore once you take the wrapper the packaging off it doesn't have the name i'm not seeing the name unless i'm completely blind basically it's like a it's like a reddish color this one it's not that bright and then this one's like a plum color so i picked these up i really like this one this one yeah it's okay I will continue to wear it, but I really like this one. I go towards more plum colors. I like purples and, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, I just wanted to come on and sh share with you guys this product and the other ones. And I showed you other ones that I shouldn't have, but that's okay. But again, thanks again so much for watching. If you like these type of videos, please thumbs up the video, subscribe, leave a comment. And until next time, guys, bye.